Welcome back everyone. Here we are going to be taking a look at holes 10 and 11 of the back nine of the Rocky Mountain Tournament. This is the opening round. I do have holes 10 through 13 done right now. So I'm going to upload this one and one more. And then I will probably upload the rest once I am finished. So for hole 10, we are going to be using our big topper again with a P5 side spin 1 plus win 1 plus ball. <clears throat> We're going to be using max topspin with 0 0.5 right spin. Big topper 4 and 5 is going to start at the bottom of the plus 25. Big topper 6, bottom of the plus 23. Big topper 7, bottom of the plus 17. Pay very close attention to this OP. So you see it breaks and then you see it drop. So that's what you are looking for. So it's not the first one. So I want to make sure... You guys are using enough OP here because you will need it. If you do not use enough, you will stay in the rough. So make sure you do watch that carefully again, and um, you should see it get through for you. Um, another thing that I have on here is half of the red ring will be in the right rough with a big topper 6 and 7. And then a big topper five, the yellow ring will be touching the rough. I do have to confirm the big topper five, but I'm almost positive. It's about half of a ring due to accuracy difference. Um, so if I do get to that, I will leave it in the comments for sure. And then you'll just have an easy EB chip. Now for hole 11, we are going to be using our quarterback using 3.5 backspin, one left spin. And then we are going to be setting up to have our yellow ring touching the rough. Guide is going to go to the hole. And then we are going to adjust P1 numbers plus 10% at mid. Be sure to pull this one straight. I know this one um, was getting a little crazy with the wind arrows. Um, but if you pull straight, I have dropped this one twice now. And you'll see it comes in dead center for the hole in one. So that's holes 10 and 11. And I will see you guys on the next one.